Hey guys, how's it going? Let's take a look at how to get MOS and check the similarity between source files on your computer. So in your browser, on Google, look up Stanford MOS and the first link should be the link that you wanna click which says Plagiarism Detection. Click on that, it should bring you to this site and then it's going to introduce what the MOS system is and how it works. So what we want to do is register for MOS first. So in this section, it says to obtain a, a MOS account, you want to send them an email message. Um, so we want to copy and paste the body of the message exactly as it appears here. Copy that and then head over to your email. And then we want to send this email. So in the body of the email, we're going to paste what we copied earlier and then Instead of this example username, we're going to replace it with our own username. So I'm going to I'm going to put my email instead, and then make sure to unitalicize it, or else you are going to get an email back saying that um, they weren't able to process it. And then you can leave the subject blank, but we want to copy their email address. All right. Once we have that, you can just go ahead and click send. You can wait a little bit, but they should be sending you an automated email soon. So the email that you should be getting back from them should look like this. And you can just click on it. You just want to go down until you see user ID. Okay, here it is. So it says your user ID equals some number select the number and just copy that because that is going to come in handy in a bit. Now back on the main site, um, we want to download the application uh, to run on Windows. Let's get the GUI for Windows version. It should take you to GitHub. And once you're here, go to code and then download zip. There we go. All right, now we want to do the setup. So what we want to do is inside that folder, go into Moss app, publish, and then setup, and then click on setup inside this folder. All right, run anyway, and then install. And there we go. And this is basically the application here. And on the top left, it says user ID. So we just want to paste what we had earlier. And now we can choose um, our source files here. And what this is, is this is the folder that's supposed to be comparing the source codes or um, program files that you want to be comparing against each other. And in the source file, I have these two here. So just to show you guys, these are very two similar um, programs. And the only difference was the UTR-2, the one on the right here, has a few more functions than the one on the left. And then the other option is the base file. So let's say you have a, a base file that was provided. If both of these source files have a default code already given, and you can just that you can provide that as the base file so that moss will um, exclude that part of the code which both of these um, source files already have and as you can see this base file only has one function here which both of these two source files have and the moss is going to know to not look at this part because it knows this was default code given all right, so once we have included everything, um, choose our language. These are Java files, so I'm gonna click Java. And then these other options, I don't really think we have to worry about them. And then just click send request. This should take a few seconds. It can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes actually. And I've had times where this took uh, longer than just a few minutes. And sometimes I think their servers go down to which might interrupt um, the request. So we just have to wait for the servers to come back online. But anyways, once it's done, it should 
generate a link here and you can click on that. It'll say um, here, this is going to be the analysis and it shows these two files and it shows the number of lines matched and right beside both of these file names there's uh, the percent percentage matched so if you click on any one of them it should show um, the parts of code that matched um, in these different colors it marked both of these code that are similar despite being in different parts of the program if we go down here uh, this light blue is again obviously a very similar code that Moss was able to detect um, and then the red part these separate lines it's pretty much the same thing I hope this works for you guys if you guys have any trouble installing it or have any questions um, about Moss just leave a comment in the comments section and I'll try to get back to you guys thanks a lot for watching and peace out